I'm going to wait uh, for the worst rain to um, rain off <laughs> and uh, then I have a little plan today. So yes, it's still raining but I decided to get going because point one I was getting chilly and needed to move and second I'm going to be wet anyway a little bit so why wait? Anyway, the agenda is to go find some mushrooms. I have even uh, put on boots so that uh, I wouldn't have to focus so much on uh, on where I'm stepping and all that. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna check out some some places where uh, where we used to go uh, shroom searching uh, when I was a kid. I don't know if they still grow there, but let's find out. These are not the mushrooms you are looking for. Okay, so this site, this little tuft of forest, is where we used to find uh, some mushrooms way in the back, I mean way back then. <laughs> also, I could exploit my uh, boots bonus and and check out this uh, uh, fine young forest more thoroughly because I'm sure that uh, the undergrowth is filled with strawberries and maybe even raspberries, although it's too uh, early for those. Well, there are certainly some blueberries. Hmm, this uh, ground coverage doesn't seem very uh, uh, mushroomy growing grounds kind. Like there's too many green plants and all that. Right, I can also see the raspberry plants, but no berries yet. Because it's that's more August thing. Right, and I'm checking out this uh, somewhat fresh uh, logging area. Not because I necessarily hope to find anything from here, but just that the area itself is interesting. Also, across that road over there would be another forest patch where we used to find the mushrooms that I'm looking for. But I think that one has been cut down as well. So I might explore further that way instead. Okay, and so while all the other plants that enjoy the uh, light that has been that they have been exposed to now that uh, the higher the high trees are way and the new trees have already been planted so it seems or maybe they are seedlings i don't know but it, it seems that uh, the new pine forest is on on its way on this patch here would be saint john's wort by the way So, waiting for the forest, I have come across this, um, oh, it's almost a road, I would say. <laughs> I, I recognize this one. Um, that way, I believe, is someone's farm, 
although that might be the road proper. And that way is the gravel path that I usually exit to uh, during my walkabouts. I'm gonna continue on a little bit into that forest because I think I see the suitable um, ecosystem. Biome. Anyway, yeah, suitable ground for the mushrooms that I'm looking for. Come to think, I, I don't actually know the word that I uh, that I was looking for, like a a bundle or system of interconnected uh, life forms, but smaller than ecosystem. I mean, the uh, local native word is uh, um, togethering, <laughs> something like this. So yeah, I'm 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 looking for a certain kind of quote unquote togethering. <laughs> <laughs> which uh, which supports the specific mushrooms that I'm looking for. So I might be distracted by some strawberries again. This kind of ground looks about right. Like there are some crumbling birches out here. It's not as dark as in uh, fully spruced <laughs> first Oh, bingo! So yes, yeah. this would be chanterelle, or like um, our local word goes, rooster mushroom. <laughs> So these are the ones that I'm looking for right now. This old life form here is what we call uh, the fungus flower, <laughs> literally. I don't know its real name. And it's like it has some properties of a plant and some properties of a fungus and it is kind of interesting and exotic and come to think of it I don't know if it's if it's possibly poisonous so yeah no touchy I am not going to pick these that's just interesting another interesting little patch although it would seem that it's quite devoid of the mushrooms so I I'm gonna go out to the gravel path and see if I can uh, locate any on the other side. Once again, not the fungi I'm looking for. They are just cool. Okay, these are kind of tiny. I'm going to leave them in place. I think they have grown up from uh, from a stem that somebody has already cut off. That's that's why you need to cut, not to not rip them out. Okay. I I think I can break the biggest one, yeah. Okay, so I've got one. Well, this is also the kind that we eat, but it's kind of big and I think the uh, uh, worms and, and snails have already got into it, so I'm gonna leave it. So I'm slowly making my way to a clearing which is actually, you can't see it from here, but it's actually another of those young, uh, young pine uh, kindergartens uh, after logging. Ooh, what do we have here? Stream. Okay, so this, this ditch is the one that will continue across the uh, gravel path and finally run into the river way over there and I thought 
thought that I was gonna make it to the uh, young woods and and uh, walk through there and make my way to the into the gravel path, but I think I'm gonna stick on this shore. Um, I'm not gonna go get over the uh, ditch or anything, so I'm just gonna continue on. Hello. I believe this is some bambi poop. Which means this trail here it ain't no human trail. And that would be the road, I mean path, the gravel path. Hmm, I think I'm gonna return home because my memory card is getting full and uh, is that a stone? I think it is. <laughs> I thought this might be an animal. Yes, yeah, it's doing. Uh, so yeah, my memory card is getting full and uh, to be perfectly honest I was a little bit more fixated on uh, on capturing than shrooming, so yeah. <laughs> Time to return. <laughs>